Welcome back. Our last series of the day. We got Tundrop taking on Extreme Gaming, who both are currently 1-1 one, one in the standings, of course, very early on for Dream League Season 22 in the group stages. Like, most times I do see it, he's playing versus like a spear. Yeah. As a tool yeah. of like caching some hero that otherwise he would not be able to catch. And I think in my nice skill, he's just going to die to Thompson. But Thompson has to use all his mana to get that kill. So I think the big one is the Desto just comes. Oh, top lane. lane. Oh, he didn't get the care for off. He got it off, and what, well, Thompson's going to rotate too, and actually just picked up the level 6 off the back of the experience from the kill, and will not even require the ultimate. I mean, didn't have the mana anyway. Regardless, it's a really nice rotation out of Thompson. Maybe it's just not worth experimenting with as much now as 7 minute runes. Wybon took that away. That's yeah. double wisdom. Does he deny himself, though? Let's see. Maybe it's going to be a bit difficult with XXS here. Okay. Oh, not happening. Nice stun from Shin Q's gonna be able to hold Topson back. Only momentarily though, but he's gonna be able to get in range for the last little spam of spells. They do have to commit pretty far into Radiant's territory and XXS with the wraparound, even XM here as well. Find revenge onto Waimon. Radiance I talked about before. 20% evasion now on top of the 15% aura. You're very, very tanky. For heroes like TA and Naga, that's gonna be a lot of their damage. Gonna come oh. I'll get him in the end. Will they? Okay, they will. Thinking maybe they can catch out Extreme on the retreat. They want to actually smoke aggressively to reoccupy their own triangle. That's why I'm on first. Just plenty of burst damage between XM and XXS, but maybe they'll also get nine class as well. XM still able to blink over the top. And another hero will go down. I think you want to flush them out of the bottom as much as you can here. Or you can Is take the top. Okay, fire out. Man, soon Shinkyu is going to be able to solo kill Pure. He got very close with that attempt. He will die for it. And Pure is going to give him a bit of a voice line as well, so... Nine class. There we go. Orchid into the damage from downtown. Should be able to get the kill onto the Rubik. Song will buy them some time from Extreme. They can reevaluate if they want to continue with this fight or not. They do see the tech is a little bit isolated from the team. XM's going to try and deal with him momentarily and will do so with ease. It's an arcane rune in the hands of XM. And now what's the call on Tundra? It's a 3v5. It's not going to be an easy fight. Pure stand strong off the back of the BKB, but the Chemical Rage, it's still on cooldown. And yet Thompson, he wants nothing to do with it. Even with Arena ready to go as well. Tundra, they feel like that was a, a lost cause. And they want to actually like share this information, especially if they know it's going to help like a pro player that there's a... Maybe some pride in it, I suppose, is, is one way to put it. For sure, it's like, I taught him that. Oh, well, Nick <laughs> may have just sacrificed himself. <laughs> I'm like looking at Tundra's lineup, I'm like, I don't know how you can play the map like this. It feels rough. Like, you're gonna kill some supports here and there, but like, these are definitely one of those games where, oh, no I way. mean, is he gonna kill support? Is he gonna kill support? Okay, they got, okay. they got. Oh, if he got away. Uh, Army's coming through the portal. I mean, they're going to see it. They're going to ward. They're going to mind set up. Uh, they also just blew up the techies on the back line. Yeah, this is... This really might bite them in the back. Let's see how Tundra are going to be able to respond. Rage is out. Pure's got BKB to the north. They want to deal with the secondary support. They're going to try and jump the Rubik. They've done a pretty good job to keep 9 class alive at the moment. Meanwhile, XXS as well is falling incredibly low. Tundra find a big kill onto the Timber, but can they deal with XM now as well? Spear over to the eastern side. Pure now easily able to deal with Refraction. Army needs to go huge here for XM. He won't be able to keep him alive, but can he get some return kills nonetheless? His army just cannot right. stand strong. The AoE damage is enough for Tundra. And Thompson. Getting scouted out. Oh, he's got it. Oh, what is that timing? The timing, the lightning bolt. Are you serious? They were stalking their prey. It's gonna like heal everyone back up. Oh, How many is that bad? <laughs> oh, smoke popped and he saw what was nearby. Funny that wisdom room, unfortunately. This first is probably still good. Went to bottom, didn't find anyone. Wrapped all the way to top with the smoke. And all they got is a measly Nyx assassin in Shinkyu. So. Uncuted immediately. 
They playing tops and they're going to be able to get the jump in and the burst potential is just far too much for him to handle. They're going to have to do some Hell Mary all in play to just can, go for the throne. Can they do something with this Vendetta? Nine class, they're to scout up the Naga. And now MC is going to be able to follow up as well. Can't okay, TPR okay. thanks to the quick BKB from the Mars, but Ami's just going to stand his ground. A lot of damage onto MC. Now it's bought enough time for Extreme to rotate over and respond. But are they able to address Pure? Turn to try and deal with XM. Get some separation thanks to the Hurricane Pike. But now it means that XM is not involved in the team fight with his resources. As they're able to blow up the Templar Assassin. But now without the BKB onto the Alchemist, Pure is going to go down. XXS cleaves through the health pool. And a Topson's the next on the chopping block as well. Shinkyu along with the Timber will easily chased him down as what was looking like a great opportunity for Tundra to potentially catch out Ame turns back into Extreme's favor. But still, Ame is no joke when it comes to dealing with building damage. He has his blood thorn complete. He has a butterfly. Song's back up though. They could just use it to retreat afterwards. Maybe someone's going to have to put their body on the line to sacrifice and buy back and... Mine class will die, and, and you might lose MC as well, XXS. Poking a force of reactions, he'll get one out of the buyback on the Rubik. Shinkyu also snipes the Mars, so they're getting kills and still getting Mega Creeps as well. But uh, he's not going to be low for too much longer. Radiant are actually relatively close by, and XXS has got enough time to pop the BKB in now all of a sudden, Tundra. They thought they saw an opportunity. XXS, he'll TP out. Now cancels it because he sees the boys nearby. Ame will be able to repair some of the damage thanks to the song. Pure does jump in with the BKB and able to assassinate the Crystal Maiden. But once the BKB is over, can they still fight? They're going to be able to catch up the real Naga Siren. Ame in some danger. Stolen song from Nine Class. But they don't have the heroes. No one is left to be able to fight. That's the song to TP out. Now it's back to defending throne, but you don't have a Mars this time around. And you don't have a Rubik, but no buyback. A dieback on both MC and Nine Class. And that's probably just Not much just your game. game. Yeah. Yep. I don't know what you can do at this point. DY is just holding back tops and you got creeps on side dealing with the throne. And the heroes want to try and celebrate and get as many kills as they can. Thank you. A beautiful stun on the tours. It's going to be extreme that finds game one in our last series of the night. A very like frustrating way to go down. I felt like Tundra as a whole were... Oh, that's a big thunders. Tundra as a whole were... <laughs> You think they were in the midst of it all. In this series, Extreme being able to strike first in our best of turn. And we'll see what Tundra are going to be able to do in response to this. Someone's got to get punished here. Bottom lane, MC, they're going to get some bashes on Ame. Only level one, but... Wait, like, there's a wave on, guys. mid, too. How did that get there? Did Bat bring that there? I think he did. Nine class oh. brought that there. <laughs> uh, you, you are going to have to somehow address the catapult, because this could be a lot of damage into your tier one early. Bottom lane, what's going on here? Ame. We'll go down to the tower. First rotation out of Wymon through the portal. It's going to net them a pretty big kill. We will see a response out of Shinkyu, though. Maybe they can hunt down nine class. Firefly has expired. They've only got one point up in the purifying flames, which might lack some of the damage required. MC's still nearby. You also have Wymon as well that can potentially continue to offer that assistance. And yeah, that machine cube, that's huge. This manager TP down to try and protect TY. I oh, but TY's still gonna die. MC got double bracer ready to continue brawling. Army is just going to stand under the tower and watch both his supports die. And at some point, this matchup doesn't really matter much anymore as they will find the faceless void. They're going to have the damage. They will. Really nicely done. They still got pulverize. If they potentially see an opportunity to get another kill, unfortunately, they're going to run straight to XM. And as soon as they see the Viper, they're going to try and disengage. Unfortunately, Blackmond will die. The king of the game right now. Nobody can fight this man. But it won't always be that game. That's a big okay. ring for Thompson. Although they are going to take it down the other oh. side. So will purge it off pretty shortly. MC does a really good job though to, to silence control them. But here comes XM. TP in and you see the response is there. Viper's here. All right, time to get out. As Thompson, he's got onslaught into the, the TP out pretty shortly. So I think he's going to escape and that'll be the case. A lot of time wasted. You still get the kill into the Crystal Maiden. 
What are they? Oh, Austin's still here. Why? Jump it. Wait, he's gonna blink? It's 10 minutes. Why is my bat rider gonna blink? XM gets killed off. How has he got the gold for a blink dagger? This is a support. I mean, we're gonna try and get first usage out of the chronosphere. XM off the respawn. We'll combine with him down bottom, so a nice kill instantly. You see Tundra look to move away from the opposite side of the map. Well, we'll see them get pretty active, though. There is Chrono back up from Arme. They're going to try and go for tops and pretty decent reactions out of the onslaught. It's not going to matter, though. Chronosphere will still clip on the edge. Wymon does his best to disrupt with the combination as Topson's still going to turn around with the pulverizer over to the right side. Tundra are trying to deal with the Oracle, but there's the Stampede to come into play. It resets the position from Extreme. And now XM caught in the middle, but they just don't have the damage. Maybe they can turn around with Pure showing up to the team fight. It's at the last second of it. He'll get the kill onto XM. Nine class as well is still proving to be a pretty big threat. It's a huge side blade. Pure assassinates the backline, now turns to arm as well. Time walk still on cooldown. It's just these two heroes. That's all they needed. Pure and nine class in combination. They'll be able to get a five man wipe 15 minutes in. So they're not going to know these rotations are coming through until they see MC. You need to bring everyone on extreme. What's the call? Of course, wherever XM is, Tundra. You have to be very cautious of the Viper potential. Oh. Jumping instantly to the Frostbite. Now, this is going to be a pretty good opportunity for Extreme. They'll be able to get the quick and easy kill onto 9 class. Stampede was used. And I think Blink Dagger on MC is also a big timing in Topson. They're going to get him. And that is a big kill, like you said, Topson. Really going to struggle to fight this game without the BKB. This being his second death is going to continue to delay that. So what's the call? I mean, Topson's got a shield rune and an arcane in the bottle. I may be acting as bait, but he's going to be cautious he doesn't get blown up from 4 to 0. The jump's a little bit messy from either side. They're trying to deal with the primal beast inside the middle. They'll be able to kill off Topson. But meanwhile, 9 class is, is also got a free fight. And now MC's going to jump in the middle. That's a huge silence. You have the opportunity for Stinkyu to play around with the false promise, but it's not going to matter. Freezing Field acts as a deterrent. Pure gets some time to be able to blink over the right side. Army's still going to be able to hunt him down with the Chronosphere. Is there a response from Tundra? MC tries to do what he can, but the instant clone from DY holds the Night Stalker down. And they didn't kill anyone. Extreme also low. It's just a stun that goes through BKB where you can't force that people out of it. I think that'll be always invaluable in Dota. Oh, nice double force. So right, we're going to try this again. Yeah, we'll see if it's going to work out in their favor. We're going to keep in mind Extreme. Of course, they do have the ages, but no corner for 15 seconds. Thompson tries to catch the back line. It's two fights are breaking out simultaneously. XXS. Can they have the damage to be able to blow off MC? Ultimate's going to be activated the last second. Flies off to the right side. Meanwhile, Topson had to activate the BKB and, and really all these spells to deal with the Oracle, but... It's like, wait, what's, what is what is the Crystal Maiden doing here? The guys? So it's a rewarding expedition. Meanwhile, MC's also jumped Oracle on the opposite side. We'll continue watching Topson try and assassinate the Crystal Maiden. Back over to the Nine Stalker. That is your first BKB usage that instantly gets stopped short thanks to Arme's Chronosphere. So Nine Class is scouting them out. The rest of the team on the low ground. We see DY. Oh. MC he yeah, gives them all the push they need over the right side. That's the ultimate you wanted out of Nine Class. Lasso on the Oracle and Arme. They'll be able to deal with both supports to start the fight. Tundra, they need to convert onto some core kills afterwards. Army finds a chrono onto three. They've slept up the Viper, so there's going to be some damage lacking. Army, he might be able to do it just by himself, though. Two for two at the moment. Can they get out on Tundra, though? Nice Pike to get some separation. Blink as well helps Pure escape to the western side. Okay, they're going to have a window of, like, 20 seconds here to win this fight for Chronos up. CTY first, and there's the Dark Ascension, all the vision they need. GQ, he's waiting inside the Rose Pit, they're gonna get the Force Promise out the last second, keeping Army alive. Do they have the sustain afterwards though? Chrono up in five. What's the call from Tundra? That was not the initiation they were hoping for, and it's gonna be an all-out retreat from them now. Why I'm on a cute attempt with the Force Stop over the high ground. In fact, it's actually enough to get him out, but nonetheless, 
Two go down from Thunder. Crew backdoor protection, they don't care. Viper has the shard and assault for us. Rapier is online, 36 minutes in. But, and this gives you a very low window for error. You cannot make mistakes now with the Rapier. It's nine class again. They're going to get the lasso onto the Oracle. Thank you. Pops the false promise defensively. It's going to be able to keep him alive momentarily. Meanwhile, MC, he just cannot escape. Corner Spear is going to hold both the cores down. And Pure is not right clicking. We'll be able to get some distance thanks to the Hurricane Pike. There's a couple of buybacks out of Tundra. But this is such a costly investment. Army, silence for the moment. They don't even get a kill. Full set of barriers claimed, two buybacks used. Well, he's getting a free rape here, was it? This is do or die now for Tundra. First time they've smoked into Extreme's territory. They're gonna try and jump and deal with the supports, but once again, it's a little bit too messy. They don't get the perfect initiation. Now Q is in some trouble as well, but the refraction burnt out. Forced off to make it up to the high ground. It's not going to lose the rapier, but you'll lose some of your other members. His army's still hunting. Pure's okay with the TP. It looks like Topson will have a different fate. His XXS able to catch up to him. MC also slithers down the bridge as well, but it's not going to matter. These are two heroes without buyback. Yeah, these barracks are no longer for this world, and 20 seconds left on Chronosphere. Ooh, ooh. Ah, uh, he's gonna keep him alive. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh, nice pulls. Oh, okay. Double pulls. Yours will get him in base. Chrono up in five seconds. You've got nine class alive that can thread him with the lasso. It's still on cooldown, though, in fact. So I'm able to drag someone back inside the fountain. Maybe Pure is going to be able to deal with D1. Oh, he blinked out. Nice. Okay. Blink. Okay. Is this that 1% extra they need? Their buildings are falling, though. One tier four down, second soon to drop as well. 4v5 for another 20 seconds, no glyph through from Tundra. You are gonna try and to beat into XM. Nine class once again with the double lasso. MC is gonna be able to hold them into place with the silence. But Army and XM are just making it impossible for Pure to be able to stand his ground and right click and they want out of this game and they will have that. 2-0 for Extreme over the boys on Tundra.